Hello and welcome to the second webinar of our sleep series where we will be talking about things we can do during our day to support sleep for children. Our healthy habits begin as soon as we start our day. So here are 10 things that we can do to support our sleep at night. Number one, get outside and enjoy the sunshine. The bright light suppresses melatonin to help children feel more awake and alert during the day and more sleepy towards bedtime. Number two, have an active morning. Children who are active during the morning are more likely to have a nap time and better sleep at night. Exercise will cause your body temperature to rise and then fall, which mimics what happens in sleep. Exercising close to bedtime can stimulate your arousal levels, so try to exercise four to six hours before bed. Having a good night's sleep will also improve your energy levels for the next day. Number three, have a healthy diet. Have a balanced diet with protein, vitamins such as B3 and B12, and minerals such as iron, calcium, and magnesium to support sleep. Don't forget to stay hydrated throughout the day. Number four, Reduce liquid intake before bed. Bladder fullness and wet nappies are likely to cause sleep disturbances at night. Infants from six months of age generally do not require night feeding as it can be a learnt hunger response. Number five, reduce naps for children. Children benefit from having a nap or quiet time in their day. It helps to provide downtime, improve mood, energy levels, productivity, and stops them from becoming overtired, which can impact sleep. Daytime naps are common for children until around five years of age. So reducing nap duration can help support deeper sleep at night for our older children. Number six, reduce stress. One way to do this is with exercise. Exercise releases endorphins, which reduces stress and improves our sleep quality. Other ways to manage stress include mindfulness activities, deep breathing, quiet music, a warm bath, or a relaxing activity. Number seven, use your bed for rest or sleep purposes only. This will help to improve the association of your bed for sleep. Number eight, wake up and sleep at the same time every day. This will help to set your body clock. Number nine, have a consistent bedtime routine that consists of calming activities. Examples may be having a warm bath, a massage, reading a book, or singing a calming song, then putting the toys to sleep. It's helpful when the last activity of the bedtime routine occurs in the child's bed. And lastly, number 10, use a sleep diary or other tools to track sleep habits. This is a reliable and cost-effective way to gather information and see what strategies have made a difference in your child's sleep. Helpful things to keep track of include the time taken to fall asleep, the total sleep time, patterns of night waking, and what your child did during the day. <laughs> 